as we were getting ready to leave Dallas, I think everyone knew that it would be a tough couple days. We had three days to prep and, and be ready for mayhem. Uh, so it was it was definitely a unique situation for us. You know, one day dedicated to travel, uh, we had a light day, and then one day of practice. I think the players and staff were both very tired, but we knew how important this match was. The match on paper may not seem very important, but a win here secures our spot in the playoffs. I think all the players handled this week pretty well. Um, given the circumstances, we had very positive mood, positive environment. Uh, everyone knew the circumstance and, and you know, put their heads down and focused and, and wanted to make sure that we ended the last week with a win. There definitely was a bit of a difference in the players between homestand and the Mayhem match. You could tell that uh, spirits had kind of been uplifted. There was an extra piece of motivation there. I think being able to play at home in front of the fans and, and be with the whole org and kind of see Dallas really helped, really helped everyone's mentality, really boosted everyone's you know, motivation and, and, and eagerness to kind of keep going. We want to make sure that the energy that we gave in Dallas is something that's not just reserved for Dallas. Like we, we want to give it for as long as we're here in LA. I think we all kind of expected that we should win this Mayhem match, um, just given the, you know, where Mayhem's kind of out of the team and where we're at a team, felt like we were the stronger team going in um, and knew that as long as we didn't slip up or lose control of the series, like we, sh we should be able to take it uh, pretty convincingly. So entering match day, we were the first match of the week. Um, so, you know, we got to the arena kind of early. Wizard hates us by making us play the last game of the match on Sunday, <laughs> travel back to LA, and play the first match on hey, Thursday. Shoes, but it doesn't matter because we're going to win oh. anyway. We, we felt pretty good about it, felt pretty good going into it, and I pretty much just wanted to, you know, wanted to stay focused. I think everyone knew that if if we slipped up or made too many mistakes, we could easily lose the series. So we wanted to, you know, just stay focused and, and, and focus on the basics and, and just and beat mayhem with teamwork. So that, so that was our goal going into match day. Listen, all right, so look, we are one match away from stage playoffs. We need to be confident. We need to work together, okay? Remember what we said, the most important thing is we play clean. If we're clean, we win. Playoffs on three, all right? One, two, three. Playoffs! Anyway, <laughs> hey guys, let's get the match started. Let's hear it for our first team in this one, the Dallas Fuel. All right, remember, listen, when we're in match, we're focused specifically on the match. It's most importantly that we play well, all right? So keep up calm, keep focused, keep up your mental, and we're gonna get it on, okay? I agree, coach, thank you. The bat, that's a lot of damage here. The grab comes in, gonna get another transcendence up. Agaba, no. Nice shatter! Oh, shatter helps, no, pick up the double kill. And that's that tank synergy that we're really seeing from Dallas right now. Use the ground, can they kill OG? Oh, he's gonna counter shatter onto SWAT, self-destruct, block though, but no, that one goes through, 3K. Agafun now on the tracer. On swaps, oh, but the shatter comes in from OG once more. He escaped, but not a lot of help remaining in Florida. Can't get back to it. It's gonna be Dallas taking the map. Fair near is good. Yeah. This grab, oh, it gets eaten. Zephyr was standing right there. Oh, that crap. doesn't matter though, because in the end, OG just decides to kill everybody with a hammer. And both grabs eat. Yeah, it's pretty funny, but Dallas feels like a Zakari, you baited me! I busted you, Zakari! Dallas, who do they have on the point right now? Nano boosted Lucio! It's gonna be the Boostio! Oh, the closer! Can't sustain it! That's gonna be Florida Mayhem tying things up. Not our map. I think we definitely had kind of a slow start. Um, we definitely could have done better on the first two maps and and I'm not really sure kind of wh where things went wrong for us, but it definitely was just a slow start. We needed, we needed a chance to warm up and, and kind of get used to the atmosphere again. Put that behind us, we focus on King's Row next and Rialto, okay? Take this moment, this is your chance to cool off and chill and regain your energy, because when we go out there, we have to give it all, all right? Just stay calm, communicate to each other, do our standard, we'll be good, all right? We had a good talk in the dugout and, and kind of went in with refreshed motivation, made sure we're just focusing on the basics, don't get ahead of ourselves. You know, we went in and wanted to make sure that, you know, we controlled the series for the rest of it. And the players definitely handled the second half really well. Dallas Fuel on the defense as we get things rolling. A little dead. I mean, Florida Mayhem. Oh, Shanner comes in, but Swan down. Zachary takes him down, and Note gets another one with the self-destruct. So Dallas Fuel 
playing it patient. Lord of Mayhem running out of time. They gotta try to win a fight, but they can have a long overtime push here. Swan in a lot of trouble. Can they finish if they can? Self Destruct comes in and picks up Hagopin as well. Crucial members of Mayhem down for the count, and nobody on the side player that one actually. Hagopin can't save him. There's the Shatter coming in. Not gonna pick up anybody though. And another one! Note gets BQB with the Self Destruct. That is all Dallas needs to get a lot of distance on this payload. Lord of Mayhem on their last defense. No, gets another one. How many times has he killed Hogglebun with that self-destruct today? It's insane. He's genius. That's how <laughs> Dallas Fuel finishes King's Row. They are going to take the lead in this series. We'll get enough healing into his team to keep alive. Big Shadow, though, comes in from OG. Set an AKM for, up for another kill there. That's going to be point A. Taken by Dallas in a pretty quick order. The stats were with Florida, but Dallas feel looking stellar here on the attack so far. And they need to punch it in these last few meters. There you go. Wonderful time. Wonderful time. the sound barrier available, BQB. You can tell. He really wants to find a good grab there. Gonna use on the center. Oh, no. Gets him anyway. Kills the Zarya. Pops the Transcendence. Keeps his team alive. It's a total package that you to play right there, that's for sure. And note there, though, to stop the payload. They've got another chance. We're in overtime. If Dallas can win this fight right now, they'll win this series. Sound barrier comes in. Note gets Chris. He always finds somebody. And they have the later sound barrier. They can have those shields. Swan in big trouble as he tries to back away. And now it's just Sion player with the shield on the payload right now. And Dallas barely getting back to stop the payload from taking a note. The one to stop it in time for his team. And that's Dallas Field punching their ticket to the stage two playoff. We came out with the 3-1, which meant that we've secured our playoff spot, which is a very big thing for us. With how stage one ended, it came down to certain teams having to perform a certain way for us to get in, and it didn't happen. But this stage, we were able to control it ourselves. So securing the spot, felt really good. Listen, slow start today, but that's fine. We pulled out the win, and that's what matters most, okay? We've got a week to prep and be ready for playoffs, and we're gonna give this playoffs our all, all right? Even though it's a slow start today, doesn't mean it has to be a slow start for the playoffs, all right? The past four days, it's insane that we had to play the schedule we did, but hey, we did it and we won all three matches, okay? Yep. Um, so really good job. Just focus on the playoffs now. Take the next two days to chill, enjoy the time off, but be ready to come in with, with a fresh mindset. It, it just kind of shows how much growth we've had as a team. And you know, going from stage one to stage two, we even made a handful of big changes. And there was a lot of concern uh, you know, from, our, from our fans, from the community about how, how that would work for stage two. And I think we showed everyone that you know, even with a short amount of time, like we can grow tremendously. And that's what we're working towards. You know, w regardless of how we place um, in, in the playoffs this stage, like, our goal is the big picture. And being able to make these stage playoffs is just a, is a step in that direction, you know, it's a step in the right direction. And that's the important thing. I'm really proud of all of our guys. We definitely got pretty lucky that we get to play Vancouver first, uh, you know, because we get to lay the SmackDown on Vancouver, um, which I think was a real gift from Blizzard. So I just want to make sure everyone knows we're coming for you. Don't stop, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs>